All right, guys. First, let me ask you a question. If I was to ask you what animal do you have, what would you say? You'd most likely say that I've got a dog, a cat, or a lion, or a monkey, or, you know, a cow, whatever animal you have, right? So when we have this scenario where we can have multiple types of things, right? In our case, multiple types of animal, of animals, we can use something called inheritance. An inheritance simply means that we can have a common class, right? And then we can extend properties and behaviors from those classes. Because in our case, animal really doesn't mean anything to none of us, right? You either would say that you have a cat or a dog, for example. So we can take this animal and both dogs and cats, they are animals. So this means that we can create a class called dog or cat that simply extends all the properties and behaviors of animal. So let's go ahead and model this scenario. So simply scroll down and let's go ahead and create a class called dog. And this dog will take a constructor. And inside, let's simply say that this dog has a breed. So I'm going to say this dot and then breed equals to breed, just like so. And let's simply create a method that logs the breed. So breed, just like so. And just let me simply say log and then breed. So this dot and then breed, just like so. End up with a semicolon. Now I can go ahead and simply say that const. And then let's call this dog Mike equals to a new and then dog, just like so. And we also have to pass a breed. So if you don't know dog breeds, just let me show you exactly what they mean. So essentially dog has um, their own breed. It's like a family, right? So the most famous are bulldogs or the German shepherd, and there are thousands of them really. So let me go ahead and simply say that this dog is this bulldog right here. So for the breed, simply say bull and then dog, just like so. And now simply say Mike dot log and then breed just like so save this and you can see that we have bulldog right here but remember i said that this dog is an animal i could have gone away and you know create all of these methods because a dog also eats sleeps wakes up and also has an age right so i could have you know taken all of these methods and put it inside of this dog class. But, you know, because we are learning programming and object oriented programming. So what we can do, we can say that this dog extends, right? Animal, just like so. So now this means that all the properties and behaviors are available inside of our dog class. And, you know, because I want to pass the actual name and age, what I can do is simply say name and then age. And then I don't have to say this dot age equals to age and this dot name equals to name. So before this dot breed, I can go ahead and simply say super and then simply pass name and age. So this super is the call to the super constructor, which will simply take care of assigning name and age. And now what I can do is simply log the actual name of our animal. So I'm going to say that this dot name is a, and then the actual breed, right? but we don't have the actual name assigned. So we can go ahead now and simply say that this guy is called Mike 
and then is four years old, just like so. And if I save this, you can see that now we have Mike is an animal and was created because remember, this constructor is getting invoked. And this is because of this super constructor. So this animal constructor is getting invoked. And remember right here, we said super and then we pass name and age. So now we can assign the actual name and age. So let's also go ahead and simply log and then age from and then dog, right? So I just want to show you that um, we can actually call this method from the super class. So to do so, simply say super and then dot and then the actual name of the super class log and then H just like so. So if I now go ahead and say Mike dot log and then H from dog. And just to bear in mind, you would never create a method that has this name right here. So I'm just giving these names for illustration and nothing else. So if I save this, you can see that now Mike is four years old because this is a method inside of the actual dog class. And because I don't want to say this dot name and then is this dot age, I can simply invoke the actual method inside of the super class called animal, which simply has this method called log age, which does what I want it to do. And we can also go ahead and simply take all of this and paste that. Let's simply name this to a cat. And let's simply remove this method. Let's say that cats, they don't have breed. And let's simply say cat right here. So our cat is a bit different. And let's also say that we don't pass the actual breed to the actual cat. And now I can go ahead and simply copy this and then paste that. And then let's call this Josh. So Josh will be our cat. Just let me name it Josh. And we don't have to pass the actual breed. And let's say that this cat is one year old. And because now we don't have this log breed method, I'm going to remove this. And then this will be cat. And finally, let's go ahead and simply say Josh right here. And also, let's simply say Josh and then dot. And remember, because we are extending everything from animal, we can say eat, sleep, wake up and age. So just let me say eat and then sleep, wake up and finally log and then age just like so. And if I simply say log and then add some dashes right here and save this, you can see that Josh is an animal and it was created. And for some reason, we have an error. If I go to inspect, just let me scroll up. So log h from cat is not a function. And that's because I forgot to change this to cat. So my bad. So this should be cat. If I close this and then save it. And we also have another error. So if I go to inspect, I just want to show you exactly how we can tackle these errors. So breed is not defined. And inside of our cat, we no longer are passing the actual breed, just like so. Save this and now everything should work as expected. So you can see that Josh is an animal and was created. So this is from the constructor of the super class. And then we have Josh is one year old, eating, sleeping, waking up and one year old. So I don't know why we log that twice. Oh, and that's because we have log age and we have log age from cat. That's why. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys understood this concept of inheritance. 
which is something that you should grasp if you want to learn object-oriented programming. In the meantime, if you have any questions regarding classes, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to provide further explanation. In the meantime, join me in the next video. See ya.